Hey people, welcome to the Run Testers and to our review of the Innovate Trail Flight. Now, I have come all the way up to the Lake District to give these shoes a proper test in the terrain that they're kind of designed for. I'm here on the course of the 13 Valleys Ultra. We're about 15 k's into this race. We're just doing a little section of it as a recce. This is proper terrain to test trail shoes. What a magic place to run as well. Yeah, so this review, we're doing a bit of it in situ here, but uh, yeah, let's have some details on the shoe first. Some quick details then, and the Trailfly comes with deeper cushioning and a bigger drop than the Trailfly Speed Sibling that also launched alongside this shoe. So it has an overall stack of 29 mils in the heel, 23 mils in the forefoot for a six mil drop. There are four mil lugs strategically placed for grip and to help with speedier toe offs. Price wise, it will set you back £130 in the UK and $150 in the US. It also comes in a standard or a wide fit. Let's have a quick shoe whip then. The Innovate Trailfly features a graphene infused PowerFlow Pro foam midsole. It's less rocket actually than the Trailfly G270, and surprisingly, it's higher stacked than the Trailfly Ultra G300 Max, which it's obviously a max cushion shoe, but there's a flexible meta shank rock plate in here for added protection on rockier trails. Plus you've got a toe guard up the front for a buffer against accidental rock kicks and those nasty toe stubs that can happen. Inside the shoe, you've got a six mil thick boomerang TPU footbed. That's there to boost the comfort and that feeling of energy. There's, that's also um, perforated to help with any water that gets in or sort of dissipate any sweat and moisture, that kind of thing. Now up top, you've got an air mesh upper that also comes with some thick met cradle strips, in it calls met cradle strips, to connect the midfoot to the heel. That aims to create a better locked in secure feel when you tighten down your laces. The heel collars here, I'd say, are sort of medium light to medium padded. The gusseted tongues are really quite more heavily padded. And if you flip the shoes over, you've got the graphene grip outsole that's become standard now on uh, Innovate shoes with strategically placed four mil lugs here that are not only designed to help you grip on descents, but also to get good traction in the toes for speedier and smoother toe-offs as well. A word on fit then, and in testing I ran in a UK eight and a half, which is the regular size I'd choose for Innovate shoes. I found the fit was good overall, perhaps a little bit snug. The heels hold well, the midfoot lockdown was very secure, and that new anatomical toe box makes for Quite a natural feel up front. In terms of length and clearance across the toes, sometimes when you're facing steep descents, you might want some extra length to prevent toe bashing. But I found there was ample here and I had no problems. And overall, I think unless you usually half a size up in your trail shoes, I'd recommend going true to size here. If you have wider feet, there's also a wide fit shoe that might be worth a look. Now in testing, I've done around 40 kilometers in the Innovate Trail flight. That's been on a mixture of hard packed flat trails, river paths, rolling park paths, which is what this shoe is primarily made for, along with some much more technical terrain when I went up to the Lake District in the north of England where we got to sample the route of the 13 Valleys Ultra. That included one pretty gnarly descent that really tested the grip and agility. Now the first thing to say, I think if you're familiar with Innovate shoes, the Trail Fly has an unmistakable Innovate ride. There's a slightly higher drop than some Innovate shoes, which can come in at kind of four mils or lower. That'll be a bit more forgiving and protective for some runners. There's a relatively low stack compared to other popular trailers that we've seen, like the Speedgoat 5. The ride, I think, is also firm, but not devoid of spring with lots of ground feel. It's a nice balance that I think feels light and fast. Now, when you first lace it up, it fits nicely with a good disappearing feel overall. Once you hit the trails, moving with a light and fast foot turnover, some of the firmness disappears for sure, particularly on sort of slightly softer ground, and you get a happy, quite snappy rolling ride from this shoe. Now, I do think that you have to pick your feet up quite quickly and work a bit to get the real gliding energy that comes from this shoe, but I like that from a shoe. It encourages me almost to run in a better form where I'm moving with lighter feet. Now, this isn't certainly kind of cushioned like the bigger shoes like the New Balance Niero. Instead, what you're getting is a lightweight agility to the shoe and a connection to the terrain underfoot that gives you confidence to move across you know, areas fast with precision and across pretty much any ground actually. It's made for hard pack runnable stuff, but even on the steeper lakes descents where I moved from loose slate to stones, to grass onto muddy paths, the trail flies, four mil lugs, I found grip well. I could feel some of the lumpier, bumpier rocks coming up through, but nothing too harsh. The rock plate does a good job of protecting from the worst of that. 
but you don't sacrifice everything in terms of the ground feel. Now, personally, I favor a bit of ground feel over a dull ride any day on the trail, so that works for me. Speaking of protection, there's some added structure around the toes as well from a toe guard. Fortunately, I never got to test the toe stubbing credentials of the shoes, but that's there to give you a little bit more confidence and peace of mind. Now in testing, I spent up to three hours on feet and moved from technical terrain to flatter lakeside trails, and I had no trouble with any kind of foot fatigue, even though it was a slightly firmer ride. Personally, as a bit more of a plodder, I think if I was going for a 12 hour run though, I might want a little more softness deeper into those latter miles, but some lighter, faster trail runners might find there's enough underfoot here for longer days on the trails. On durability, I've seen no signs that you're getting anything other than Innovate's trademark robustness from this shoe. It's one, to me, that looks built to last. Verdict then, and the Trailfly gets a thumbs up from me. It stays true to Innovate's DNA here. It's grippy, nimble, sprightly, with a middling firm direct ride that performs well on a wide range of terrain. If you like your trail shoes well connected to the ground, there's loads of ground feel here. Though the trade-off is that you're not getting quite as much cushion as you might do from bigger stack shoes like the Speed Goat, the Aero, the Merrill Agility Peak, those kind of shoes. Those aren't really rivals to these shoes, but that's just in there for comparison. If you like that kind of trail ride, you may want more softness on the harder terrain than you're going to get from these. Or for taking on longer trail runs, like over three or four hours, you may want a bit more cushion. However, when you're running with a fast foot turnover, this is light enough to feel comfortable. It happily copes with short period on the roads too, those kind of commutes to the trail, or when you drop back into towns and villages, returns to civilization mid-ultra, these will do a job there too. And for blasts up to a few hours, there's a really nice lightness to the ride that's really reliable, stable. They perform well in sloppy conditions. This firm base here creates a really nice, reliable stability on the flatter trail too. The anatomical ultra style toe box is an interesting shift for Innovate. It's a nod to those ultra shoes that we've seen before and for sure I kind of like it. If you're a fan of Innovate already, you'll be familiar with how these feel underfoot and I think you'll like what the Trailfly has to offer. If not, then I think you will need to like a slightly firmer ride. Well, there is a bit of cushion here, but I think you'll like it. need to like it firmer to enjoy these. If you want more cushion, I spot the Trailfly G300 Max on offer at £80, something around that in the UK here. It's not as agile and precise, but there is more protection, so that's worth a look. If you want something even lighter, lower drop, and built to move even faster, then the Innovate Trailfly Speed is like the sibling to this shoe, and that is also worth a look. So there you have it, that's been our review of the Innovate Trailfly. I hope you found it useful. Be sure to hit subscribe, ring the bell to hear when other reviews land on the channel. If you're looking for trail shoes, I'm gonna pop a video up on the screen now that you should definitely watch. Otherwise, as ever, thank you for stopping by and watching, and we hope to see you again soon on the Run Testers. Happy running, people.